Sure. Uh, well done, Jürgen, on reaching the quarterfinals. In the end and overall, how tough was it to just get through that tonight? Tough, because it's a football game against the Premier League side. Um, we had to make 10 changes because of the 120 plus 40 minutes penalty shootout on, on Sunday. Um, it was That was an exhausting night, mentally and physically. So we had to make changes to have a chance tonight. We needed a couple of minutes to to get into the game. Um, Norwich had kind of a kick start again, like they had in a Premier League game. But from a specific moment on, we controlled the game and um, played like we had to play, like easy and simple passes to 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 drag them out a little bit to find then the, the gaps to find the half spaces and from there. Um, because there were real problems, could have had good moments and scored two wonderful goals. Second half, uh, pretty similar. We should have scored um, earlier, closing the game, but it didn't happen. And all of a sudden, they score their goal, and then you have to fight to bring it over the line. That's what we did, and that's absolutely fine. And um, it was a tough game. We expected that. That's why we brought in ten uh, fresh players and. Um, it was good. Um, we spoke in the build-up about players being ready to take opportunities when they're given to them. So what's your assessment of how Takumi Minamino took his opportunity to impress this evening? <laughs> yeah, his impression was obvious with scoring two goals and not only that, he had a lot of more top, top, top football moments. He was a constant threat tonight. He was mobile. He was um, quick. He was technically on an incredible high level. It was really windy tonight. I mean, you then saw the, how he controlled the balls when, when, when he had to bring down the, the whole high balls, whatever. It was all really, really, really good. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I know how good he is. And tonight he showed it to the public again, which is absolutely great. Um, so others, other really, really top performances. Curtis played a, a really good first half, for example. Um, we had to take him off because he felt uh, the thigh slightly. I don't think it's real injury but there was no need to take a risk and um, that's why we brought in Harvey on all was good thanks Jürgen well done thanks Vinny we'll, thanks, we'll go to uh, Masatoshi given that uh, we've just spoken about Taki that's Masatoshi for the next question I need to take the mute off if you don't mind sir sorry <laughs> there we go. Oh, don't be silly. Jürgen hi Jürgen um, was it uh, uh, Taki's best game so far Maybe. Um, it was an exceptional game, for sure. Um, so, uh, it was, he looked extremely sharp. He showed all the things um, he knows for sure he has in him. And now he showed it tonight to the public. It was a really a complete performance, I have to say. That, uh, the two goals were great, but uh, all the rest of what he did was top class as well. Yeah, was really was really good. You know, just he played like a final, didn't he? You know, uh, he showed aggression, determination, and you know, desire to play for Liverpool. Uh, I I felt you know, his uh, desire. Absolutely, he sh he shows everything. He has everything. So that's that's how it is. But that's why he's our player. Um, I'm. It's like it is. If you. Taki came in in a difficult time. Um, corona was uh, yeah, full throttle. Um, no supporters in the stadium. And a good football team, obviously, which was, was used to a lot of things. Had had good moments, played really good football. But now we need time. And in the moment, he looks like I'm absolutely on peak of, of the things he can do. And um, I'm very, very happy for him that he can show that because um, obviously this is a that more difficult situation than Takis out there in the world, but it's obviously not so easy to be in and out and sometimes um, these kind of things. But when he's, his character is obviously top class, means when he when he's needed, he's, uh, or when I give him the opportunity, then he's absolutely he's delivering on top class level. I'm really happy. Thank you. We've got to Neil, Chris and Carl to finish. Neil. Hi, yeah, again. Uh, just, just on Taki, <laughs> obviously he spent the second half of last season out on loan. Was, was there ever a chance that he might have left either either last summer or in January? Because obviously, as you say yourself, it's difficult to, to come in and out and maybe not get the chances that your, your talent maybe deserves. 
Well, that's the question. Do you ask me what, what, what could, was there a chance he could have left because obviously he went on in, in, in the last summer? Yeah, and or, or in January. But we, we, no, we didn't think about it. You don't. I don't think he thought about it. So um, no. Okay. Thanks, Neil, Chris, and then we're going to finish with Cal. Yeah, yeah. All it was just that um, every time you brought players in who maybe haven't been playing regularly, they just stepped up so much. I mean, it, 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 you could have been the theme of this season. That's really help you be in the position you are. That's the reason. Yeah, right. That's the reason for the situation we are in. Um, that we um, have this kind of mentality and, and, and character in, in the squad. Um, I said another good example is Curtis Jones, who, who, who played an exceptional game tonight, um, and all these kind of things. Joe Gomez, we don't have to discuss his quality, obviously, and he showed it again tonight. Um, and that's 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 exactly what we need. That's exactly what we um, to be successful in the long term. Nobody knows what will happen this year, but in the long term, we need this kind of quality. And um, the boys have to be ready for these kind of. They don't fight each other for a position, but they have to fight to be the, their best version. And then they have a good chance to be um, in, the, in the lineup for the weekend, but no guarantee. And um, that means you have to do it again and again and again until you get that opportunity and then you have to show up. And that's what the boys did. Thanks, Chris. And the final question, Carl Markham. Hi, Jürgen. Um, it's another tacky question, I'm afraid. Um, considering the part he's played in your cup runs this season, just how, how disappointed was he not to even get on at Wembley? And was that sort of you know, a motivation for him coming into the side tonight? I was not sure, very disappointing. I can imagine, I can imagine, didn't speak to him about it. These are the, 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 the hard decisions I have to make for the for which lineup I decide for it. So, actually, my decision is a very positive one because I decide for the player, um, but it means for other players that they are not involved, and that's um, obviously then not not so cool. And um, but how tucky is? I don't think that was the reason why he played so good tonight. Uh, he is is a person for this kind of anger or whatever, but it's just the situation he's in, and um, obviously the decision for the lineup on Sunday was kind of the right one because we won the game in the end. Um, and that's then how it is. Uh, my, my decisions they get tested by the results we can, we, we, we can get and the players have just to keep working. That's how it is. There's, so best for me is a be player of Liverpool FC is actually the best place you can be. Um, but it means you have to deal with situations you would not have to deal maybe somewhere else because there you play all the time, but then you have no chance to play a final maybe or maybe more finals. Maybe it's not so easy to, or you have no chance to win a silverware. So that's a decision the players have to make, but there's always, the door is always open because you will have get your chances and then you have to deliver. And um, then you are part of, and Taki was a massive part of the whole journey um, uh, in the Carabao Cup. And that he didn't play in the final might have um, might have been hard for him in the moment, but in the long term, when he looks back, he just won the Carabao Cup in Liverpool, and that's a, a really good thing.